Hey, uh, Ron here, and today I'd like to talk about Michael Bloomberg and how all of his money is bad for democracy. <laughs> this is going to bring me entertainment for years to come. So, me and my sister were having a conversation, a conversation which inspired this video. Um, that, that, that's the case for a lot of my videos. I would go so far as to say most of my videos are inspired by conversations I had with people. Not the point. So, me and my sister were having a conversation about how much money a billion dollars is. And the thing that we settled on to illustrate how much money it is, is like how much money you could make doing nothing with it. Uh, that is, putting it in a bank uh, with interest, living off the interest. So, let's presume you have a billion dollars. That's a billion dollars, or it's a value of a billion. And you take that huge wad of money, you put it in a bank, and you live off of the interest. And, uh, and we'll use the worst case scenario here, the worst reasonable case scenario. You're making 1% interest off of that. Uh, typically, a typical CD is a 2% interest, and with as high as as much money as this is worth, it's typically between 10 and 14, which seems counterintuitive, but again, that's not the point. Worst case scenario, you have 1% interest. So you divide that number by 100, and you get 10 million. 10 million dollars a year just in interest. 1% interest. But we can go further. Divide that again by 12 for the number of months in the year. Divide it again by 30 for the days in the month. Divide it again by 24 for the hours in the day. And divide it again by 60 for the minutes in every hour. You're making about $20 every minute. In fact, let's let's clear that and round it up to 20. Just to make the math a little bit easier. So if you're if you have a billion dollars and you literally do nothing with it, and then you're still making $20 a minute. To put that in perspective, minimum wage workers in Seattle, where the minimum wage is about the highest in the country, make $15 an hour. But Michael Bloomberg does not have $1 billion. At the time me and Amethyst had the conversation, Michael Bloomberg, she had been reading that he had $64 billion. So we multiply that 20 by 64, and we get 1,280. So to put that number in perspective, uh, last month, I was kind of panicking about um, medical debts that a couple of people in my family might have had to incur. Uh, the number I was panicking about was $2,000, or less than that, because it was inconceivable to me, and it was inconceivable to all the other people in my extended family. That's me, my mother, both of my sisters, our uncle, a couple of other uncles on our mother's side, our aunt, and some family friends. It was inconceivable to me and all of those people that in our wildest dreams, in the most outlandish fantasies that we could imagine, we would have $2,000 between all of us to spare for a medical emergency. And Michael Bloomberg makes that in less than two hours when you're not optimizing the amount of money he has. Michael Bloomberg makes much more money than this every minute. Significantly more. 
And I know that, like, uh, the, stock mar the stock market got its leg blown out from under it, and he allegedly lost $12 billion, but I don't know how much I'd buy that. And even if that was the case, that's not the point. Money is power in our system. And the way that capitalism is set up, the way that neoliberal capitalism, uh, the blighted hellscape that we're living under, is set up, is that people who make it the easiest to centralize wealth are the people who profit from the wealth of everyone else. That means that the people with the most incentive to keep the system as it is have the most power to keep it the way it is. At least when you're talking about money. And that's aside from the fact that uh, everyday people like me and like my family have to take care of material needs before we can provide financial support to anyone or anything. And most of the time we're not able to provide entirely for our own material needs. Like, I'm staying in this house because a relative of mine couldn't afford a care cube, a caregiver, after major surgery. This is not a system that can support itself. The system, in fact, is entirely fucking collapsing. Uh, the stock market ballooning and then deflating and then ballooning again, uh, that's the system collapsing. We're seeing it faster and faster now, and it's gonna be bad when it happens. But we can cushion the blow, we can help each other out, we can... We have leverage now to change the system. Which is what we should try and do. Uh, get involved in local politics, is what I'm saying. Also, fuck Michael Bloomberg. And I think that's everything I have to say about that. I'm all said out. Uh, regular links are in the underbar. Or, not the underbar, the um, description of the video. Uh, that is my Twitter, if you want to see what kind of goofing off I'm doing on Twitter today. Um, that is my curious cat. If you want to uh, send me anonymous questions or just send me harassment, I'll usually delete harassment, but if it's especially funny, I may post it. Probably not. Don't, don't send me harassment. I'll just delete it. Um, I have an email there that you can contact me at if you want me to be involved in a leftist project, if you inexplicably think that your project would benefit from that. And I have my Ko-Fi account, if you think that any of this is worth financially supporting. Uh, I want to stress, again, that um, th I, there is no need, I do not want anyone to feel obligated to financially support me for doing this. Uh, I, th this is all a labor of love. I dragged my computer, my, my whole fucking, my whole ass computer here, and my camera, so that I could keep doing this. I'm doing this because I care about keeping people informed and giving people perspective. This is a me thing. But every bit that anyone is willing to give helps a lot. I got something like $150 yesterday, and I was able to use that to fill the gas tank twice and buy a bunch of groceries, and that helped a whole hell of a lot. And I'm very, very, very grateful for that. I can't tell you how grateful I am for that. Thank you so much. Uh, next video... Uh, you know what? I don't know what the next video is going to be. I have it written down in a comment on my YouTube timeline, but I need to go look at that, and I don't want to move away from this. So, uh, yeah. Until we get there. Take care of yourselves, all right?